sent on their journey and fives wild jumped well today he's a horse who's been sluggish off the mark he is only a half a length slow today but nothing quicker than wishful words and the new generation the white blinkers they cut out the speed past the eight peg the new generation a half wishful words a second fives wild king of samish further back in the running captain snell i know Kiron is last coming to the 600 off the bridle the favorite got six lengths to hunt down and then black creek the new generation at the top of the lane wishful word second fives wild the stick is out on Kiron got nine lengths to make up coming to the 300 meter marker wishful words fives wild white sleeves and cap that's probably the horse to beat fives wild captain snell's looking to close in Kiron's out the back door you've done your money there and fives wild and captain snell Captain Snell comes alive at Fives Wild. I know is also taking off. Fives Wild, Captain Snell. I know probably got there. I know Fives Wild, Captain Snell, King of Samash, a three-way photo. Maybe number two. I know the blue sleeves and cap, but it's very, very tight. The favourite Kiron was beaten from the word go. Well, this gets very, very close, splitting them. Number two, I know, might get up on the post. Fives wild, white sleeves and cap, and Captain Snell. Let's see, heads up and down, I know, probably by a short head from Fives wild. Captain Snell, there's only a head separating this trio. King of Samash runs fourth. Three lengths away, wishful words. The favourite, Kiron, as the gates opened, came under early fire and never shaped with the blinkers on today, Kiron. Finishes alongside the new generation. Wishful words moved up, fives wild coming to the 200. The winner, I know, blue sleeves and cap. Captain Snell's on the right, the all blue silks, but as they come to the last 50, fives wild still in front. I know's gonna dive through. Captain Snell, a three way photo finish, very, very tight. Perhaps number two, I know by a whisker. One fives wild and four Captain Snell. Wait for official confirmation. Back to the studio. A nice result for trainer Alison Ride saddling the first and the third past the post, but it's horse number two, I know, coming through to win. And uh, well done to the Alison Ride shot. Alison, nice, nice start to the day. Uh, not the most consistent coming to the race, but I see uh, you know you guys opted to take the blinkers off. Had the blinkers on, blinkers off. But what was the difference today? These, I cannot tell you how frustrating this horse has been. He um, barriered first time out. We were a little bit sort of disappointed with the way it barriered. And then his runs from then have just been so confusing. At home, we actually said to Craig before he got in, we cannot believe this horse hasn't won two races by now. So, yeah, uh, we were actually contemplating whether just to scratch him because his thousand meter run last week was, was no good. And um, we were going to put him over a 1900 at the end of the month. So just delighted that he's decided to, to bring his homework to the track. Well done to Craig, great ride. I was so busy shouting for the other one, I didn't even uh, see him until the last minute. <laughs> so, so. But very happy, you know, um, the other horse ran a much better race too. You know, we thought he would just about win, but he did everything but win at the end of it. So, yeah, very happy. But uh, very happy for Edward and uh, Jose and Bernard and um, Mauritius and uh, yeah they'll be delighted like I said we actually phoned them yesterday asking if we should run or shouldn't run and they said no we'll give it a go and let's see because to be fair the, the field wasn't that great so very happy well done to the guys at home thanks to um, our sponsors Hollywood Bets and well done to Summerhill he's a really nice horse and, and his attitude is amazing he's just the nicest ride and I am just hope that we can go on from here. Well you said it all now can you help us later on with any one of your runners? Geez, we've got Sorsby Hill, he's taken on a competitive field. We wanted to also run him over further, um, but he didn't draw well. So he's, I think he's got a place chance. We've got Gorgeous Guest going again. She's well, taking her runs well, and I'm sure she's got a um, good each-way chance. Horse like Honest Prince? 
Yeah, he's got a bad draw to overcome, and um, yeah, if he tries, he's also another one. Things don't go his way; he doesn't really put it in. But if it goes his way, he's 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 well. His work is good. And um, Uncle Roy, we were a bit disappointed last time, but he didn't get the best of breaks. So just hoping for a better run. Well, give our best to the Mauritian connection, and this horse is delivered, and that's what matters, Alison. Well done. Yeah, exactly. Thanks to them. Fantastic. Well done to Alison. Let's get Craig in. Nice to see Craig be doing a bit of travelling as well, and. Uh, yeah, this horse, uh, first time you sat on him, uh, maybe you can give us a take on your feel? Yeah, look, he's, um, I'll be honest, he's got it all. He's a good looking horse, got a beautiful action, he's got a good temperament. And look, they told me the way he works at home, uh, he should be a 2 3 time winner, you know. And I just thought, with his great feel, I'm not going to force him and let him put himself into a position. And hopefully, he runs a good enough race where he's going to get confidence and bring his track work to the race course. But yeah, very delighted with the win. Uh, bit of a surprise but like I said he gave a very good feel going to his post and um, probably also he's only going to get better between a 12 and a mile. The way the race worked out at, at the 200 meter mark you look like you're going to run third. Yeah uh, I didn't get the best of starts you know I didn't want to handle and the handler ended up jumping in the gates with me and my horse just threw a little bit of a tension and I just told him to back off and left me to be with the horse by myself you know and he got a half a decent break after that. Um, like I said, he does want the toss, so he, he got midway through and just hit a sort of a flat spot, uh, got some oxygen into his tanks and he really got going nicely that last 200. Craig, we've had a chat a number of times off air about your career and how things are mapping out for you. Well done on last season, officially on air, I'd like to tell you that, but we're one month into the new season now. Any immediate goals? What's your plans this season? Yeah, definitely. These are more great ones, more group races as possible, you know, uh, top five for the jockey log and uh, yeah last season was good this season started off great have not had nine winners already uh, had a bit of a bad tumble last week but thank god everything's okay and yeah i'm just uh, keep pushing and trying out for me that looked a bad fall it looked a nasty fall and i'm glad you've come out 100 percent the body's all strong all strong these anything else from your side you would have had a look at your your rides in black and white i know you don't know the horse you, you like anything else my best today was amor diamante for mrs mp uh, i was coming down for him so i'm hoping he can uh, come back to his best and give a good uh, show of himself and yeah the rest if anything pops up or just be a bonus well, nice start to the day and i wish you all the best greg thanks to you tell us and then right well done great chain of feed to the winners uh, partners involved well done and to my sponsors Maurice Fintin and Volker Bosch. thank you Fantastic. That's Craig Zaki, the winning jockey of race number one. I know has come through to win, beating Fives Wild. Four captains now pencil that horse in. First run for the stable. Good effort from him. And rounding off that quartet was horse number three, King of Samash. Up next, race number two, place accumulated time 13.50, 10 to 2.